Here are all the changes from version 50 to version 56, previously known as the version 55 beta. Zekers just names things weirdly. Version 56 is now officially out, and the most notable changes are the Company Cruiser, Weed Killer, and two new entities. The Company Cruiser is a truck added that can be purchased for 370 credits in the shop. However, this truck is garbage. As Zekers himself puts it, the name itself is practically false advertising because this hunk of metal does anything but cruise. You can jump with the cruiser, and giving the cruiser weed killer will give it a massive boost when jumping. However, this usually ends in death as the cruiser explodes fairly easily. The weed killer gets sprayed into the hood of the car, giving it this boosting feature, and is also used to repair the car as the car damages whenever you hit something. This weed killer does serve its purpose of killing weeds though, and costs 40 credits. Vein shrouds are the weeds that now spawn on moons, and can be removed with weed killer. When enough of these weeds grow, the kidnapper fox, our first new entity, will spawn. The kidnapper fox is an outdoor entity whose purpose is to sneak up behind you and drag you to its nest in the weeds with its tongue, where it will feast on you. The fox takes 7 hits to kill, but will kill you instantly upon dragging you into the weeds. Only one can spawn on each moon. The other entity is the barber. It is invisible, and slowly hops around the facility, making this funny noise. When it makes this noise, it changes position. It can only be seen when you are close to it, and coming into contact with its scissors will instantly split you in half. As for moon changes, Embryon increased its value to 14 to 16 objects that spawn on the moon. Rend no longer has Earth Leviathans. As for Dine, the butler spawn chance decreased from 38% to 30%. Artifice max daytime power decreased from 20 to 15. Assurance daytime power was decreased from 10 to 8. And Flooded now rises on Artifice. As for item changes, the survival kit is now available for 138 credits. You can get this by typing in survival in the shop. However, it gives boomboxes and a stun grenade right now instead of walkies and a shovel. Jetpack is now 900 credits instead of 700 credits. As for other notable changes and fixes for the version, Baboonhawks won't damage entities when dead. Shotgun now does proper damage instead of hitting multiple hitboxes on entities. Shotgun also doesn't do more damage for client anymore. Trees are now destructible, mainly by the company cruiser. Giant won't insta-kill when spawning below you. Dead entities can't open doors. Dead entities also don't show nearby activity anymore. Fixed nutcracker aim movement, however desync still exists. Fixed item weight speed glitch. Fixed shovel and knife sometimes dealing multiple damage per hit, however this actually wasn't fixed upon testing and a bunch more minor changes that can all be found in the link in the description. So how do I feel about this update? To be honest, it doesn't even feel like an update happened. The Barber and Fox are so rare that you never see them. Additionally, as Zekers mentioned, the company Cruiser is basically a meme car made for funny moments and not transferring loot. So the Cruiser is fun for about 30 minutes to an hour, then gets old and you don't really have to use it again because you can't transfer loot efficiently with it. Most of the bugs that were annoying in the game, like web bug, items spawning in impossible areas to reach, invisible old birds, and nutcracker desync still exist, making both casual and sweaty gameplay annoying at times. Don't get me wrong, I do like the entities. They are very well designed, it's just that you almost never see them, and the cruiser is fun to blow up, but really nothing more. Zekers did mention that they are working on more scrap items, creature mechanics, and new interiors, which I think will really spice up the game. Also, I'm really hoping the next update comes out with liquidation. Subscribe and stay tuned for when I make guides going to the specifics for each new entity and the company cruiser, and strategies regarding them. Also, feel free to join the Discord where we discuss strategies and you have a place to find casual or sweaty players to play with. Thanks for watching.